Today we learned what the secret, unrelated event at Mojang was, but first, the top comment from my video on Monday said hopefully fireflies and new birch forests come this month for both Bedrock and Java, and I've got some bad news for you because Minecraft just put out a video yesterday saying this. Fireflies was originally part of the plan for the wild update. We wanted them to be a food source for the new frogs. But then we got great feedback from you guys in a lovely community and you taught us that a lot of species of fireflies and firebugs that are out there are poisonous to toads and frogs. And of course we didn't want to add that into our game. So we provided the frogs with a safer food source, the tiny slimes. And fireflies are sadly no longer part of the plans for the wild update. But don't worry, if you're still excited about the birch forest, we heard very good news about that, because as you can see right here. As with the birch forest, that is a little bit different. At Minecraft Live, we did show some concept art with birch forest improvements. However, concept art is not a commitment, and this time around, birch forest improvement is not something that we have continued working with. Oh, I'm sorry, when I said good news, I meant bad news. They have confirmed that both the birch forest and the firefly were just concepts shown at Minecraft Live. Uh, they obviously weren't commitments, and there's no point in Minecraft forcing themselves to add features if they don't think that they'll be good additions to the game. Or in the case of the birch forest, it sounds more like they didn't have the time or the resources. And so that is why when the wild update releases in the next few weeks or months, it will not have fireflies, it will not have uh, the birch forest. And it's weird. Weird, right? Because they're literally so easy to add though, says Subject Zero. I mean, all you've got to do is, uh, is put a two pixel mob in there. However, they actually did clarify this in the same uh, Ask Mojang series, and they said that basically the big reason the updates take them so long is because they have a super high quality bar for themselves. They want to make sure that uh, you know features are bug tested on all platforms. They want to make sure that all features are adding to the game in some way, and that's why the Fireflies aren't being added, because even though they could add them to the game, they wouldn't have much purpose. And I actually think this is an improvement to their previous logic of just add it to the game and it doesn't really need to do much besides be cute. I feel as though having a more deliberate strategy of what is being added to Minecraft, again, the, the thing that separates Vanilla out from every other mod developer who can do, uh, you know, something like the wild update instead of being in six months by a team of a hundred people, it can be done in, uh, you know, a week by one person, but uh, the things that are going to be different are deciding what to add, it's going to be different in terms of the raw quality in some cases, and the other thing is in making sure that it all uh, seamlessly pairs with the updates that come before it, and that is an important thing. Just like cats with knives are important, which by the way, fun username, I am noticing a pattern that I'm not quite sure I like, and I totally feel this too. This is the very common theme. Uh, since 1.16, every update has taken features that were originally announced, and then removed them from the final version, and not added a significant number on top of it. You know, the, the, the never update trailer and idea versus what we got was a massive improvement. Every update since then, they've announced a set of features, and then the number in the update itself has gone down. The wild update looked like it was going to break this trend because they announced so little, but from the features they announced, which was really free biomes, I guess you could say, and free mobs, it looks as though one of those biomes and one of those mobs had to be cut, and one of those biomes was already uh, from 1.18. So, you know, it's 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 a little bit of a brutal time to be uh, following Minecraft as an enthusiast because, yeah, they clearly need to find their feet. I would say whoever is in charge of managing, because, you know, I, don't blame developers for any, any of this stuff. They are working hard on things they care about, and whenever people harass developers about this, it makes the game worse for everyone. And also, it makes, uh, you know, developers uh, less likely to share things. It makes things a worse time for everyone. However, whoever is in charge of managing these release dates, you know, they have this huge responsibility, um, and, you know, no doubt the huge salary it comes with it. There, there are people that Mojang hires because it's a massive corporation to make sure this stuff happens and then to have three successive failures in a row as far as managing uh, both expectations and also what's happening in terms of the release. I don't think that's necessarily a massive success. And anyway, for now, let's talk unrelatedly because there is not going to be a snapshot today despite it being Wednesday or snapshot day, my dudes. And that is because of something unrelated happening at Minecraft today. This was announced by Slice Lime, the tech lead for Minecraft. Um, it was also, uh, you know, kind of eyeball emoji by Adrian and then even Jeb himself. So lots of high-end Mojang people working on this, uh, including, by the way, Olraf tweeted out saying he was excited with this panda emoji and then this unrelated image that showed a happy face. Uh, we had Corner Hard uh, when, it, when I asked, like, uh, you know, how excited he was on a scale of 164, saying close to a full stack. We had lots of, uh, you know, Mojang developers saying they were excited for something happening today. However, it is not something that will be announced. In fact, Slice Lime came 
came out and said that I mentioned that we're busy with something unrelated, now there's instead huge speculation about some big announcement to come. Jeez, folks, we're just busy. It's possible for the team to be busy with things, even things that don't involve some huge news be announced that day. Chill. And, uh, yeah, that's on top of saying you folks are hopeless up there. Uh, you, you know, when you, when you combine these three things together, you can get a clear sense that he's upset that so many people are asking, so what's going on today? And it's clearly getting on his nerves, because, you know, my, my instinctive reaction is to say, like, well, uh, this this really sucks. Like, I, I know the feeling when you're getting non-stop barraged with people um, who are saying stuff like, oh, uh, what, what, what are you doing here? What are you, you know, like asking unrelated things that you don't have an answer for. It can be super frustrating, and it sounds like he's gone through that. On the other hand, again, uh, he's also acting as though everyone's responding to just his tweet. It is kind of this big Minecraft event that several separate Minecraft staff have confirmed that they are at and doing something with. And so what exactly is it? The only thing we can say is it's something that would delay a snapshot and it's something that is not going to be public information. Slice Lime confirms that directly. The unrelated event is not going to be public for some time. And so what exactly was it? I mean, we're going to have to use our best guesses here because there's no public information. So maybe it's Jeb's cat's birthday and they're holding him a giant birthday party. Maybe um, someone uh, forgot the key to the office today and so they can't hit the release snapshot uh, button. Uh, you know, that's, that's exciting, right? Maybe they're doing fire alarm testing and all of our Mojang friends just really love fire alarms, you know, they get really excited about it. What I think is way more likely is Minecraft have said before, they know the theme and the rough feature idea for the next update at all times. And given that we've now, uh, you know, with, with that confirmation of no Birch Forest and no Fireflies, we've confirmed that they've done all the major features they intend to for 1.19. That means that 1.20 is probably already decided. Maybe they're doing last minute brainstorming for that, which they obviously can't announce till they have a trailer uh, or something like that to show. Uh, or maybe they're doing ideas for 1.21. Those are my most, most likely theories. If it was something that was being announced, my best bet would be 1.19 release date, pre-release, etc. Um, or something like Minecraft movie, a new Minecraft game. Uh, but instead, because it's a lot of Minecraft developers being very excited, you know, if you're a developer, what's the thing you're most excited for uh, besides Jeb's cat's birthday? Probably a new update or being able to talk about and share your actual ideas of it. Because working all day to implement, like, chest boats must be a, a little bit frustrating as a developer. What's way more fun is being able to be at a meeting and saying, what if the new dimension had puppies and what if it had Jeb's cat but everywhere in the sky? And, uh, so yeah, that's the best idea. What if there was a fire alarm dimension? Wouldn't that be great? And so yeah, that's the best theory. By the way, this is Q&A Saturday, uh, but it's on a Wednesday. I, you could say that makes it Q&A Wednesday, but no, it's Q&A Saturday just in a new spiritual home because there's a lot of news I wanted to get out, which by the way, I feel as though um, both those things together are kind of disappointing, right? Which is, uh, you know, going back to the whole like pattern that you're not sure you're liking. I do feel as though Minecraft Communication, uh, it's a game that is very big, one of the biggest on the planet, but it's still done by a lot of people and I think this is something that a lot of developers have issues with because they want to be able to be personal people while also just sharing things about Minecraft they're excited with. I mean, even all of the examples we mentioned of people tweeting about their excitement for this unrelated event. Their excitement leading to something much bigger than they intended in the community. You know, a lot of people are speculating about what's going on. Um, maybe it's not something they like. And I I do think it's a little bit, like, gaslighty for them to be like, what do you mean? What do you... Th there's not a single thing that I could see you'd be excited for. Why would you assume something's happening just because we said something's happening? You know, it's a little bit like that. But, uh, by the way, it's raining here. Uh, it never rains in the UK, I swear. But speaking of places where it doesn't rain, did you know that the majority of house fires happened at houses owned by people people who aren't subscribed. It's true. Majority of house fires have people who aren't subscribed, and so if you want to decrease your odds, because that's definitely how statistics work, have you considered hitting that button? By the way, speaking of that button, Explosive Tree says, wow, I never realized how close I was to playing Minecraft with no hunger bar and no running. And yeah, this is obviously because of the fact that I posted a video, the 10 year one, showing that there was no hunger running at that point. Honestly, it's crazy. When you compare today, the progress that happens over two to three years, when you compare that to like the two years between beta, releasing and 1.3, like, it's amazing the number of new mechanics they added. I would argue that like some of those mechanics can feel out of place. Like think about potion brewing and like it's it's a weird corner mechanic of the game, right? But it is kind of important sometimes. Whereas enchanting is something that will literally affect you all of the time ever. Um, and so uh, yeah, like uh, and, and sprinting and sleeping and we could go all day about like the sorts of things, the end dimension. Um, there are a lot of things that do affect your day-to-day -day Minecraft experience more than say a firefly 
butterfly, a frog, and a slightly new swamp biome do. And I think it's interesting working out as a Minecraft developer or Minecraft planner, you know, the release date managers and the people actually uh, putting it together this stuff. It must be so interesting trying to work out, like, do we want updates that are super impactful or do we want Minecraft to be, like they've said before, the same game if you pick it up years later, just with more content. And that is, uh, that, that's a fun difference between current updates and previous ones, adding more content versus adding entire categories of content. Anyway, speaking of categories of content, Drunken Mage asks a question that we're going to get non-stop, which is, hey, you all don't understand how difficult it is to animate two pixels. I've seen so many jokes about two pixels, because honestly, the Firefly was a two pixel mob. They chose to delay, or in this case, add it to the ideas library. We still think that the Fireflies are super interesting as an idea and a concept, and they're part of our ideas library. But we don't have any concrete plans for adding them in any upcoming update. Which sounds a little bit like a polite way of saying, we're not confirming they won't come to Minecraft. But yeah, in case you're curious as to why something that so many people want is not going to Minecraft, I think it is that idea of they are trying to quality curate in a better way. Why add a Firefly to Minecraft if they haven't given it a single use? Um, this, this, this is a really important thing. And especially, uh, I think it's important for me to say that like, yeah, I would rather than them adding a hundred ambient mobs that do nothing, that they only add mob by mob each update, something which adds to the fabric of Minecraft. I think that we go really hit on miss or for the, you know, the last five years as to whether mobs have really added something to the game. And so I think it's better to slowly give them more purpose. You know, the Firefly would have been food for the frog. The frog um, can poop out frog lights, which are a really cool light source. I don't know if magma cubes are necessarily a perfect... I, I think it would have been better if they ate Fireflies personally for the same thing, but you get the point that like, yeah, they have put these things together and making Minecraft work together like a giant ecosystem is harder than you might think. And I, that's why I think it's a good thing they're not adding a useless Firefly to the game. However, uh, you know, as much as I'd love to say, yep, great decision. On the other hand, why not just give it a use? I mean, you, you've had months since frogs were added and they've had their very colorful uh, indigestion issues with magma cubes. You know, that was months ago and it's been literal months and there's lots of people who could have said like, hey, what if like fireflies exist and you grab a glass bottle, you go up to them and now now, now it works as like a, a form of healing, uh, kind of like in the Legend of Zelda games. Wow, that's a fun reference. What if instead of that, because that might encourage people to eat fireflies, which you shouldn't do in the real world. Actually, can you eat fireflies in the real world? They can be poisonous. When predators attack, they start reflex bleeding and produce drops of blood filled with nasty chemicals. Uh, don't try eating them. Okay, so don't don't eat fireflies, obviously. But instead, what if the glass bottle could be hung uh, underneath a chain or just on directly on a block uh, if it had a firefly in on the ceiling? And now you could have fireflies as a source of light. Wow, that is also an idea, huh? Speaking of ideas, um, Bedman333 says, How was your experience in the comedy show? So, Kat, did you like it or did your fears come true? Uh, honestly, there was an MC, which I, I didn't know an MC was a thing for comedy, the master of ceremony or something. She was so bad at telling jokes that it made the, like, I, I thought like, man, this is ruining the show. Then I realized that, that it made the comedian seem so much better. It's like, uh, you know, if, if you want to make something look good, you do something really bad by comparison. I mean, after the Buzzy Bees update, we were so hyped for 1.16. After the Wild update, whatever they announce for 1.20, assuming they don't make the same mistake of deciding to cut a bunch of features, will be amazing right? I mean, I think the six month development cycle is, uh, you know, clearly something I, I I think it's something they're maybe going to end it. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's uh, not, not the goal whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, I like the comedy show. And you know what else I liked? I like this final question from Dry Soap, who asks on my YouTube story where I'm uh, I, I'm, I'm showing off some baby swans. Uh, and uh, they say, you know there isn't any rules against just taking them. Did you know that actually the, all swans belong to the queen? This is a common uh, fact that British people know. If you don't know though, there are actually is a law to it that if it's in the Thames Valley, so basically if it's uh, in the south of England, then the swan owns it. But anywhere else in the UK, and indeed the Commonwealth, you can just take swans and you can do that with ducks too. You know, fun fact, you can just steal animals and no one's even going to stop you because they're all of our animals. And so if you want to take a baby swan for yourself, you're a monster, but you're allowed to do it. Just like how you'd be a monster if you didn't consider subscribing to the channel. If you've enjoyed seeing the super black gameplay in the background, I'm currently building a dirt mansion that I'm probably going to be continuing tomorrow and I'd recommend checking that out alongside I I'm assuming there's gonna be a snapshot tomorrow alongside a beta perhaps I assume that they're going to be bug fix only I think that's going to be the sign that uh, the update is coming a little bit sooner than we'd expect which is good news all round right speaking of good news all round I'll see you all next time goodbye